You are tuned to the Witching Hours, and I'm your host, Kanaska Carter. I have not posted an episode in about two weeks. Tonight's episode is going to be about this interesting experience that I just had the other day. So, on the full moon, I decided to go for a run, half past midnight, and I do not normally go for a run half past midnight anymore because the last time I did I saw the rake which looks exactly like a demonic gray alien well on this full moon that we just had I was it was just after a huge snowstorm and I went to the local field nearby and I decided to run back and forth through the high snow because it was good resistance for exercise so I went to the local field, ran back and forth through the snow. I knew I was going to see something, but I didn't know what I was going to see. And on my fourth time crossing the field, I saw this little girl poke her head out behind the bush, which was in front of the school. There's the school, then the street, and then the bush where the field is. And I was like, oh, something does not want me to be here. I need to get out of here. So I started to run, and she ran after me all the way up the street. I thought I was just tripping out. I'm like, this isn't real. Cause she kind of looked like the girl from The Grudge. Um, and then she followed me all the way up the street. And near the end of it, she was kind of walking and looking at me like that. And then she disappeared. So I decided to look up, if there, see if there was any traumatic deaths that had happened on my street. So what I looked up was the name of my street and just the word death. And what came up was that a six-year-old girl had got hit by a truck in front of the school. And that was the first thing came up. No other deaths. I just felt something touch my arm, just as I said that. And, uh, yeah, she died February 12th, 2018. And that's the only information I can get about that situation. But when I was really young, I got hit by a dirt bike around the same age, and I'm pretty sure I died and came back. I had an out-of-body experience, and a traveling palm reader told me years later that I died when I was really young in some sort of a vehicle accident. So that was one of the synchronicities. And she also has my niece's, um, my niece's birthday is the day that she died. So there's some weird synchronicities going on there. So I have decided that what I want to do is bring her some toys. And then on the day when she died, I want to go back and see if I can help her into the light. Maybe just go speak to her or do some sort of a ritual. Uh, but today I actually was walking to the grocery store. And I was thinking about everything that was going on, about how she got hit by a truck. Um, and she got hit right around the same age when I was hit by a dirt bike and had an out-of-body experience. I'm pretty sure I died and then came back to life. I remember floating outside of my body at that age. And um, I was thinking about um, how my deaf aunt how she got hit by a truck and died. This was my father's sister, and she wasn't very old either. And then I started to think about that. So my middle name, Denise, is actually named after my deaf aunt that got hit by a truck and died. And I didn't even think about that, that that was how this little girl died. Like, is that a part of the synchronicity? Is like why she needs my help? Like. I don't know what is going on, but um, it has rattled me to my core this past week. So, yeah, there's been a lot going on the past couple weeks. I haven't been posting as much because I am uh, going to be teaching a psychic development course February 1st, virtually. If anybody's interested in that, just head over to my website. It's at the very bottom of the page, book me on kanaska.com so I'm just just been creating the lessons for that and yeah it's 24 modules but that is why I haven't really been posting I've been most preparing for a, a protest there's the truckers convoy right now that's happening and um, I'm gonna be going down there 
I just bought a bunch of groceries today to feed the protesters and the truckers that are fighting for freedom. So I'm going down there January 29th. Facebook actually deleted the Convoy to Ottawa 2022 page that had about 600,000 people. They deleted it today. Kind of crazy stuff, the censorship that we're dealing with now. But anyways, they've created a new page, so life goes on, right? So when it comes to ghosts, spirits, I was um, talking about that little girl ghost on, I was live on TikTok. And the first time I started to explain the story, on my altar, a piece of candle wax went snap and fell off onto the table. And then I had turned my music off. I was making a healing candle for somebody. So I turned my music off, and then when I went to go turn it back on, the lyrics was talking about spirits looking for the light. And I had just finished saying about how I was going to help her go back and find the light. And the song was called Body in a Box. So it's like all these little signs the universe is talking to me that I have to go and help this spirit. So... I just hope that I can do a good job. And, uh, yeah, it's been a weird month. Very intense energy this month. So I hope you guys have been staying safe. I was going to do an episode on the mummies, the Nazca mummies. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but it was a documentary on Gaia. And these Nazca mummies allegedly were retrieved in Peru. Some people say that it was proven to be false, and other people believe otherwise. Apparently, they did tests on it in this documentary, and they tested different areas of the body, which determined that it was from an unknown species. They couldn't determine what the species was. Um, but then uh, the Peru government they got very upset with them and then they decided to do their own independent testing and apparently it was fake but the one uh, mummy called Maria looks exactly like the rake that I saw and it has three long fingers and three long toes which would make sense because the rake alien that I saw was running on all fours and if it had long fingers like that it would be able to propel itself much easier so yeah, that was interesting. I also saw this documentary about crop circles. And strange things happen inside of the crop circles. I'm going to get into that on the next episode, uh, which I will be releasing soon. But um, people even experience things like healing inside of the crop circles. Um, their technology messes up. They can't take photos. They can't take videos inside of these crop circles. And it's amazing. These people will fly by on a plane. There will be nothing there. And then minutes later, there's this amazing crop circle. Um, so, yeah. Even some of the crop circles, they have like an image of an alien face. You know, with a DNA strand showing how, I guess, what alien DNA would look like. I'm going to get further into crop circles in the next episode but I just had to update you guys on that ghost girl that I saw and how it's related to my own life um, how she was hit by a truck and she died and how that's how my deaf aunt died and my middle name is named after my deaf aunt who died got hit by a truck so it's been a weird month to say the least so I'll be posting really soon and if you want to join the Psychic Development course, just check out my website. Go to the bottom of the Book Me page. I love you guys. That's it for this episode of The Witching Hours. And thank you for your patience. I will see you guys very soon. I'm your host, Kanaska Carter.